Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna show you something. This morning, we went and got the hood and the roof wrapped on the Sinex B. We are here at 8 Auto Garage and we're getting some work done on the BB. Not. Sick dog, all good. It's like carbon fiber. Here, all blacked out, that is a foreshadow. It, it did snow a little bit outside, but I'm gonna try to get this cleaned up and prepped so we can start wrapping it, finally. Like I said, guys, we already know what color we're going with. It's this. It looks black, but if you look really, really close, there's a little bit of gold flake on it. But it will definitely be much more noticeable in natural daylight. For now, let's get this cleaned up. Oh, by the way, I test fitted one of the Koenig wheels that I took off the MX3, which is actually not working. Like, we brought that thing to my friend's shop, tried to get it fixed. Then the clutch gave out. It's actually the same exact problem that I faced with FRS not too long ago. It could be the clutch master cylinder or we just gotta replace the clutch fluid, who knows. I feel like these bronzy copper wheels match a little better than these ones. So uh, <laughs> when it is a little nicer out, I'm gonna go grab the other three wheels off the MX3 and they're actually wrapped with decent winter tires. So we'll be using these wheels all throughout winter. So not gonna lie, I've started ordering things in for the XB already. And uh, some of them have started arriving. So I'm gonna open these packages up for you guys and show you what we got. This is an entire seat cover set for the XB. Oh. Tried to match the theme up, you know? Beige exterior, so beige interior. And I went with the diamond stitching design. So what they give you are a couple of headrests and small little pillows. I think these are for the passengers in the back seat, but you can probably use these for your lower back when you're driving. Oh, you can already feel how amazing that is on your spine. Actually, just straightening your back out like this feels so good on your spine. Let's throw this thing into the XB and show you guys what it looks like. Also, disclaimer, I did buy this off eBay. I have no idea how it's gonna fit or if it's just like a universal throw it over and hope for the best kind of thing, but uh, we'll see. There's several pieces to this, and it didn't come with instructions, so I have to figure this out on my own. One inch spacers, which should be enough to bring the wheels out to make it flush with the body. We're gonna lower this thing by 1.5 to two inches. We're doing springs for now until we can find an airlift sponsor. That's the plan. Super stanced out VIP build that uh, is still super practical, usable as a daily driver. You can also replace the drum covers because I got brand new ones. These are just really rusted. These were only 10 bucks on Amazon and Amazon Prime is like next day delivery. I'm pretty sure I did this wrong. The seat covers are on there, still kind of fits like shit. You can totally tell this is universal, but from a distance, it's always from a distance, okay? Don't look too close, guys. Let's throw these spacers on. Because we don't have space, we'll, we'll do the spacers one side at a time. That's not roasting. What up, dude? Yeah. Yo, I'm just gonna quickly put on the spacers and then get the Look at the difference. It's actually it's flush perfectly and you can kind of see the tires protruding from the body. I love it. Actually, I have no idea what's gonna look like or if it's even gonna fit. Yo, don't worry, man, you're good. I'm getting Godspeed springs in uh, and it's gonna lower the car by another like 
close to two inches. And I don't know if I'm gonna have to get stretched tires or new fitment, or maybe even just a smaller spacer, but right now, this looks decent, man, and I'm excited to lower this thing. We'll throw the spacers in on the back and then uh, throw on the grill and probably get Sonny's truck in here somehow so he can start on his wiring project. Back here, we're gonna be replacing this super grimy, rusty brake drum cover as well. And these are brand spanking new. Is your parking brake on? Should it not be? Yeah. Oops. Thanks, bro. Beauty. Done. It really started snowing. Okay, we're gonna try to fit this truck in here. Uh, Bobby, I have no idea where that kid is. Bobby's not here, so we can't move the Mercedes. We'll give it a shot. Hold that mirror, boy. A little bit more. No use. I'm gonna show you guys my new whip. Looks so much better with the spacers. Now, it just needs more low. Embrace the cold. Good for your immune system. Oh, I'm actually freezing, dude. I don't know if I showed you guys. I've got a grill. A grill. And boom. And then there's one more that replaces the top on here uh, that basically makes it badgeless. screws and nuts. For this model you actually do have to drill these holes in and you can push it back a little bit. This should actually be flush with the headlight. So yeah. But how you attach these ones is they actually just cover these and they have these plates and a screw that kind of just tighten together. Four points on uh, both the top bottom one and bottom bottom. In these plates, the orientation basically is like this, right behind the hex. Get this on jack stands, take off the front bumper, we take off the side skirts and wrap those individually. I quickly ran to the dollar store to pick up more stuff, including some holiday decorations, a rolling stool. This is gonna make uh, wrapping on the ground a lot easier. And also a few of these are dollar stores full of goodies, man. But sometimes I leave that place spending more than I'd like to or spending more than I thought I would. It's a dangerous thing to go to the dollar store without a checklist. Anyways, uh, more things for the Scion XB. These are headrests for the rear seats because the previous owner forgot to give me his. I think he owned dogs. He mostly had the back seats down. Beautiful. Yay! It's <laughs> Christmas, day here. Christmas, Christmas. No, not in the car, bro. <laughs> Billion of the clips out of there. Grab a flathead and uh, just 
that off, and then right behind there, another bolt. I think this is like a special Scion XB. This side scare is aftermarket for sure, or it's special. Okay, we'll take off the other side skirt and then we can start wrapping. I think I'm gonna start off with this piece. Don't think we're gonna do the front bumper uh, because we actually have a new front bumper coming in. It's a completely different style. I think we're just gonna save the strenuous wrapping for that bumper and just not do this one because I think that's gonna come in next week. So there's no point. How we usually wrap parts um, I create a small template of the piece that I'm wrapping using paper. Shape out the silhouette and then take that shape, uh, transfer it to the vinyl wrap so that there's little excess waste of the vinyl wrap. It just makes things easier if you do it this way. been at it for like 15 minutes and uh yeah rapping really just demands patience so if you got time probably learn the shit on your own cool man let's keep at it Time's here now yo what's up? appreciate it bro okay we're gonna try to figure out the third brake light Move this up. Then that's just these guys. Small break, and uh, we're gonna assemble the PTG spoiler for the E36. Take a liberty of taking off the old spoiler, and uh, we're working on the third brake light right now. This. Basically, just take these off. So the side piece here, as you can see, has this metal extension. And that's because you can actually adjust the middle. One of the really cool features of this rare spoiler. I'm gonna test to see if it's the rear windshield. Ooh, that's it? That's it. Oh, that's sweet, it. dude. The vlogs, dude. Okay, test. Damn. Alrighty. That's left. Uh, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, dude. Good. Great. Right. Sunny finished installing the spoiler. It's good, but it's on. <laughs> uh, continuing wrapping the rest of the XB. Probably gonna have to order more for the rest of the body, but we have enough for the doors, and we're gonna try to crush it before we call it a day. You guys get a small glimpse. Damn. Alright guys, I think uh, me and Sunny are going to call it a night. Uh, this side's complete. And also Sunny helped me do this side by himself. So good progress today, I'd say today has been pretty productive. We'll be back tomorrow. Oh man.
so I'm on.